One guy, number two, will listen to. He's like his big brother and sometimes his valet. I actually, guys, I Seriously. want Chris Broussard yeah. to chime in here. Good well, well certainly, I, thank you. I'm missing all those emotional celebrations we used to get from Kawhi. All yeah. those emotions, right? We After buckets. See. No, look, he was obviously he wasn't himself, whether it's injury or whatever, but he still played a strong game. Yeah. He shot almost 50%. That's a good point. You right? finally made a good one. <laughs> he played yeah. a strong yeah. The seven rebounds, mm -hmm. the four steals, yeah. the four two steals. blocks. Yeah. How can he do that? 14 How of his 19 possible? points in it's the second miracle. half. It's All right, miracle. skip. And skip the defense. Oh, oh, yeah. All the defense. It's miraculous. Got him locked up. This is, he's guarding the MVP. Yeah. Guarding. And he's held him, he held him to three of seven shooting yeah. yesterday. So... Kawhi played a solid game, not what we've come to expect from him throughout these playoffs. Obviously, it was the bench that played mm. well, and Marc Gasol, Marc Gasol even played well. But Kawhi's plus-minus was plus 16. Mm. So their bench was unlocked, though. Norman Leonard, they hadn't been getting anything. I'm sorry, Powell. Norman Powell, mm -hmm. Fred Van Vliet, mm -hmm. and Ibaka. They hadn't been getting anything from Van Fleet. Mm. Did you and look at their plus-minuses? Powell's played well. Mm. Yeah, the bench, the bench 24, came on. 24, 29, 25? Hopefully plus, for plus, Toronto, plus. this will, you know, Travis. unlock their bench. You know, I, I mean, I, I picked Milwaukee, but if you're a Toronto fan, you got to be hoping that now their bench is going to get going because they've been terrible throughout the series for the most part. Here's my biggest concern with Kawhi, if I'm, a, if I'm a Raptors fan or just a basketball fan, is his body breaking down. Like, he's playing more minutes than he's used to. We know in San Antonio, he didn't play as many minutes. We know that they he played they nine really, games in one year. Go ahead. Well, no, well, but they sit you out. They sit you out games, and and yep. I know he rested twenty two games this year. But fifty two minutes in game, what one of this series, four games or forty game or minutes the, more, the, or more the, game the, three, the four games or forty or more minutes in the previous series with Philadelphia. Now he it's, had some the minutes. Playoffs, it's all no, over. I, my point is this: his body for all his toughness, I think physically and mentally. His body may be breaking down on him. Okay. That would be my concern. I mean, it's, it's been we breaking get it down that. for seven years. Well, no, okay. It has. Okay, well, it's finally breaking region breaking point. That's boy. what I'm wondering. And I'm not, I'm not predicting that. I'm not saying that's definitely happening. But that would be my concern if I'm Toronto. Is his body breaking down on him? Not Danny Green said we need him for two more games, two more wins. No. You need him for six more wins yeah, exactly. and maybe, what, 11 more or, or 10 more games. Maybe. Well, how about 10 more years? You better hold right, right. Yeah. Go ahead, Skip. You, you no, chop it no, down. I want to hear no, what you I want to I don't want to talk. Go ahead. You, you <laughs> I, been I, I, when have you ever said that? No, you no, you, I'm, you just anxious to go. You want to refute everything Chris said, so go right I mean, ahead. the bench was great. If you're going to jump you. on him because he finally got help, that's what he I, needs help. Excuse me. I have been trying to tell this man he has more help than Giannis does. I still like this roster and his supporting cast better than Giannis's. And I think you called him yesterday on the fact that he said yes, that Milwaukee they, yeah, had the that, best supporting cast in basketball, right? <laughs> okay. But they play more consistent than Toronto's. Toronto, Skip, mate, look, the supporting cast are very comparable. Yes. The one thing is Milwaukee's do a specific thing. They shoot threes. And the difference That's is they Toronto's has so much more playoff experience, so much more star power because Kyle Lowry's five times an all-star. So he had a 30-point game, and then last night he had a 25-point game, and he made all 10 of his free throws. Mark Gasol has been through the playoff wars with San Antonio in Western Conference Finals. So he's, he's done all that. And he's got such a high basketball IQ, he's become their point center. The offense is now revolving around him. Mm -hmm. He's led them two straight games at home in assists mm -hmm. with seven last night. I think he had seven in game three. And, and you don't think Ibaka's been around and done this before? Right. He, okay, he so. killed my Spurs once. It was long ago, but he's been doing this for a long time, for 17 and 13. He's capable of that. To your points, sometimes they disappear. Sometimes they come mm -hmm. and go. Van Fleet was having a second child, but he went home and they, they get the baby. No, his wife was having a second one. child. He wasn't pregnant. Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> he was playing like he was pregnant. That. It's on his mind. Okay? It was Had definitely on his mind. mind. And then last night, he looked like he played more free. Yeah. And again, I've seen him play big. No, and he's he, oh, he's, yeah. a, he he's is a closer for yeah. this team. Yeah. You know, I trust him in the fourth quarter with the ball in his hand. 
Now, number two, I, the reason this is wearing me out is it's making me relive my worst nightmare because I'm seeing it all unfold right before my very eyes. This is San Antonio, all ailments that he has. But right away last night, he's dunking and he's limping. And then he keeps dunking and he keeps limping. And he keeps exploding and lifting and dunking and limping. But the TNT guys are all of, they've hopped on the new <laughs> runaway bandwagon of poor number two, except they use his name. And I'm not going to use his name because he doesn't deserve it. Well, if he, he gets to the finals, it. you got to call I'm him. I'm not going to call him anything. I'm going to call him some other <laughs> if name. If they get to the finals. Yeah. <laughs> but here, here we go again, because I'm going to remind everybody the most conservative, player-friendly medical staff in all of sports. Right. San Antonio's cleared him in January. We find nothing wrong with his thigh. He has a thigh bruise, but it's healed. No, he says, I can't go. And he sits the whole rest of the year until Ginobili and Parker call a team meeting and call him out and said, Come on, we got a good chance here to make a deep run we'll in the playoffs. Ahead. Without me. Yeah, well, that's exactly what he said. And that was the final nail. And here's my final point about that guy. He is mentally and physically fragile. And last year was the first year that Greg Popovich said, you know what, this is going to be your team. We tried to make it LaMarcus's team the year before, and it didn't work. It's your turn. Ginobili aging, Parker aging, it's your turn to take this team over. And he crumbled under the pressure and the spotlight to be that guy in that town where the Spurs rule. And he said, I want out because he wanted out from under the pressure. So what did he do in games three and four? It hits him, oh my God, this is pressure like I've never felt before because these are do or die games at home and the whole world is watching me. So what did he do? Right away, game three, he dunks and he limps. That was his left whatever it is. I don't know, it's quad, knee, uh, calf, uh, no, nobody knows, tendinosis, whatever it is. And then in the fourth quarter, he dunks and he starts limping on his right leg. Did he forget which leg was supposed no, to be hurt or are both of them oh. hurt? I have no idea. If if he were hurt like Kevin Durant is hurt, he'd be on the injury report. Well, what else, Kevin? Yeah. If, 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 let, let me just say this, Shannon. If you're right about Kawhi, like if he doesn't want that pressure, even subconsciously, he should go to the Lakers. Okay. I mean, let LeBron right. carry that. If And okay. I'm not saying you that, are right. I'm just saying if he doesn't want, you know, if, if he couldn't handle, you you mentioned when I predicted he would be MVP, it was his team. You know what? That, I, I'm, you did going in, yeah. and, and I didn't disagree. I'm shot. just saying if, and I'm not saying I agree with you, but if you're right, and maybe we'll see over these next few games, then he should just go play with LeBron. Okay, that's fine. Although Instead it can be really crazy. hard to be LeBron's co-star, right? But LeBron will take a lot of the, you know, okay. pressure take off. Take a lot of right. arrows. Personally. I don't doubt this guy's talent. I never have. He's supremely gifted. I doubt his basketball backbone. Well, that's I, what I, I doubt. I, I thought Greg Popovich's judgment that he thought LaMarcus Aldridge could be a leader considering well, that he voted Portland because, guess what, okay. Dame Lillard had took it over. All right, you could be right, but he was the prize of that whole free agent summer. Yes. And yeah. I was shocked was that shock they landed they him. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, Okay. Because he didn't want that pressure. Okay. But anyway, and you're right. But, but, you were right. But here's the thing, Skip. But when you look at this, it's hard for me to believe that this guy's going to start the game limping like that if nothing's wrong with it. I, I agree. It's hard for me to believe I, I that. I believe it. I don't believe the weight. Skip, the guy's been a finals MVP. He's two-time defensive player of the year. He's been in he, pressurized. He was able to shine in the spotlight. And he I mean, in the shadows. And in he the shined shadows. the brightest yep. in that finals. Duncan, Ginobili, Parker. And he was the Ginobili. MVP over all yeah. three of them. <laughs> yep. Duncan, Ginobili, that law firm of Duncan, Ginobili, and Parker, it was the, <laughs> it was the understudy. Yeah, and before those games, nobody expected the understudy to do much of anything except be out there with the three big guys. Skip, he, but see, the thing is, is that when you play 52 minutes and you got to give it to you, give us, give us what you give us on the offensive end, and then you got to shut down Giannis, who's going to be the MVP. Nobody's carrying that workload. That's LeBron esque in his prime, carrying a work workload of 50 plus minutes. And I got the guard Giannis and did a great job on him, too. Mm. Had him up in Pelican Bay. Did he? So I'm going to let you out for game four. Really? But it's going to be too late. Mm. Yes. 25 and 10, not bad. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what, what did he do when my guy on him? With old Claw, old Baron Von Rash. Five for 19. You what are you doing games. when my guy get on it? 11 the Poor points. man's LeBron. No, 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 yeah. there, there you go, Skip. Yeah. Uh, this one, if, you, if you think you that guy offensively, yeah. all I'm going to do is send old Kawhi with a hey, Kawhi. Shut that down. Ask, ask, ask Ben Simmons what he do. Ask Jimmy Buckets what he do. Mm. You think you like that? Don't, don't make me go call it. Mm. Kawhi! 
Mm. What, and what Kawhi's learning is what LeBron had to learn. You need help. Hell. No matter how good you are, you need help. He always had help in San Antonio. And nice, here, huh? last night, you need to be able to have, again, 19-7-4, still not a bad game. Mm. But you need to be able to have some of those throughout a long playoff run if you go 17 to points from uh, Abaka, 18 from Powell, 13 from Van Fleet, got 17 from Gasol, 25 from Kyle Lowry. Everybody's aggressive. When you know Norman Powell to take 18 shots, 13 from the three. Because he was needed. That's what I, that's he's, my point. And he's played well. well that's what yeah. I'm talking about, Skip Bayless. Okay, well, what I'm talking about is 19-7-4 and four is actually Good. an indictment of that guy because he looked just fine. No, he didn't look fine to me. He looked explosive. I saw lift. I saw the usual number two. No, Skip, I heard the yeah. thing. When a guy is six foot seven, six foot eight, yeah, he can jump, dunk the ball. Easy. But that, that ain't it quiet. He did dunk on Giannis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. Too. <laughs> I don't know how it was a miracle. It, it wasn't no a miracle. miracle. Stop it. <laughs> you know what? See, you can just uh, go but overboard. You, you, that's a serious indictment you're saying, Skip. That I, this guy is faking an injury. I, I am seriously indicting. <laughs> and Nick Nurse backed me up by putting him back in the game. Nick Nurse, hold on. Head coach Nick Nurse or RN Nick Nurse? Mm. His last name is Nurse. He's <laughs> not a real nurse. He's not qualified to diagnose. He just worried about. Neither is a nurse. <laughs> you, 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 I, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I'm like this, not ashamed. Like this I've man been watching this nightmare for seven years. It's all coming true again. I've been right and I've been right again. It's having some it's he might be so you don't have them winning the series for sure. I, I picked Milwaukee in seven just because they got seven at home. Okay. Simple as that. All but right. I have respect for his game and especially for his supporting cast. Head and it was on display. Finally. Found a way. Yep. Uh, how about this, though, guys? Kevin Durant uh, took a little bit of a shot. Uh -oh. Hey, Dave. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I love you. I'm taking a few shots at everyone. I, I thought it was Actually, a Twitter follow going up, Chris. It was, it was very gentle. Yes. That's the shot. Twitter follow went up.